Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a lot different from the content that I usually upload. Today's video is going to be a lot different. Like I said, today I'm going to be showing you guys my results. I did the, the, <laughs> I did the 25 day hourglass challenge by Chloe Teen. She's a fitness YouTuber. I'm sure some of you guys have must have heard of her before. She's pretty popular. And yeah. So today, the day that I'm filming this, it let's say April 9th. Today is April 9th and it's a 25 day challenge. Um, I started it four days ago. Today's day four. Yesterday was a rest day. There's an actual schedule that you could follow. It's on like her website. I'll link everything down below. But I wanted to kind of like update you guys every couple of days. I forgot to start the video a few days ago. I do apologize, but I have been taking progress pictures and stuff. So yeah. Um, for me personally, it's kind of difficult to lose weight, but I have been like noticing differences and like the pictures do look different. I've felt a lot more energized and just like happier and confident in myself and I do look a little more toned, but I will insert the pictures later on. I just, like I said, I just want to start the video off and I'll update you guys every couple of days. <laughs> so yeah. Hi guys, you're measured on perfume bottles, so I'm gonna, it's like I said, it's day four, I'm starting this video kind of late, but I'm about to measure myself, and then at the end of the challenge, we're gonna say design girl. This is what I have, this is all I could find around the house, so this is what we're using. Don't get on me. Okay guys, so I just took my measurements. Everybody's different, so don't get on me. All of our bodies are different. But yeah, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated throughout this challenge and I'll see you later. I finished the challenge, guys. I really finished it. I can't believe I finished it. It's crazy. Time has flown by 25 days later. Here I am. Just kidding, that sounded a little cocky. I apologize. But yeah guys i finished the challenge and that footage that you've seen before was 21 days ago crazy um didn't really update you guys throughout the challenge got a little bit of footage measured myself um and now we're on the last day and i want to tell you guys how i feel about it so i'm going to start off with the days how i was feeling each day type thing so i got my laptop here and I'm a little excited to talk to just exactly what I was trying to tell you. I'm a little excited, energized today um, to talk to you guys about this. So if my speaking doesn't sound too good, you know why. Anyways, first of all, who's Chloe Teen? Chloe Teen is a fitness YouTuber, I would say. She does a lot of workout videos. She has her own fitness program. She has it for arms, legs, abs, thighs whatever you want it's on there and she came out with a 25 day hourglass challenge and the day that i came across her was the day that the challenge started so i was like oh cool i could do this video and little did i know i was getting myself into a whole fitness challenge <laughs> and I'm so glad that i did it happened like very naturally not too forced um i worked out a little bit before this quarantine but i wanted to come out of quarantine looking better feeling good, feeling strong. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in doing her programs, she has so many, I'll leave the links below. And yeah. Okay, so typically the videos would go from 10 to 50 minutes a day. Like I said, it was 25 days long. Um, yeah, she had about, I wanna say eight videos that were incorporated and it was like a scheduled, like a little rotation type thing. Um, I don't really have any complaints about the videos. They were really good. Um, like I said, this, I don't even know if I told you, but this challenge incorporated everything. A little bit of, uh, the birds are chirping outside and it's raining. Can't even deal. It incorporated like abs, arms, um, like your legs, your thighs, hip dips, love handles, everything. And I really like that because it kind of just like dealt with everything and I didn't feel like I was only working out one part of my body so that was really cool okay so the first couple of days were really good um I started off very strong 
did about everything. I did notice that I was doing some of the lower impact workouts. Some of them I just physically could not do. Like there was no way. Like the plank hip dips. I don't know why that's so difficult for me. I don't know. But by the end of the challenge, I was able to do them. Um, up downs. Can't stand them. And I know not a lot of people can. Um, so yeah. The first couple days were really good. Um, I was in like a positive mindset. Only complaints is like between like days like 7 and 13 i think it's a little drastic maybe like 7 to like 11. i was like okay like this is like this is for real and like i was just like not that motivated i noticed that i wasn't pushing myself to my fullest potential if i could give any tips work yourself to your fullest potential think you'll thank me later something else that happened during this challenge i ended up going to my dad's house and i noticed that there i wasn't working to my fullest potential but i came home I believe it was day 23. Day 23. It was 50 minutes long and my resistance bands came in. I ordered resistance bands on Amazon in like the beginning of the challenge. Obviously, they're been going on. It took a little while to get here. But it worked out so well. I really liked working out with the resistance bands. I felt like stronger. I don't know if that's dramatic, but I felt really good using them. Um, Day 24 was only 20 minutes. So that was yesterday. Day 25, there's only three videos, and it was 30 minutes. Okay, so that's that. That's a little calendar. I'll leave this link below if you guys are interested. Um, if I could give you guys any tips, I'm going to give them right here. So, first thing, everybody says this, is your diet. Um, obviously, you can't be eating junk food. I ate how I regularly eat, but I did change out a lot of my foods. I've been eating a lot more protein, a lot more fruit than I normally did. I love fruit. A lot more vegetables. My mom and stepdad are on a keto diet, so that's been helping. I haven't really had, I really haven't had carbs, and I love pasta, so that was kind of crazy. I had ice cream like once during this challenge, and I love ice cream. So, as you guys could see, I changed up my diet a lot. Don't work too hard. Like, obviously, if you want something, don't feel like you can't eat it. It's just about working harder the next day. It's all about balance. So, don't get discouraged if you slip up. Don't do it. Another thing, the weight on the scale, like the number on the scale. Um, I did weigh myself at the beginning of the challenge. I haven't checked my weight because I was too eager to film this. But I I like progress pictures better. They make me feel a lot better. And just to see like, the muscle growth, the toning, I just feel so good. Like very proud, very accomplished. So take progress pictures. Obviously you're gaining muscle your you have water weight so a lot goes into it muscle is worth more than fat i'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian or whatever i don't think that has to do. listen i'm not a doctor but i have learned a lot and i have watched a lot of chloe's videos so i learned a little bit here and there but yeah progress pictures um, also like weighing, not weighing, measuring yourself. That was cool too. I did that. I haven't measured myself because I can't find the tape measure. But little things like that, like don't go based off the number on the scale because it's not, it's just going to make you feel more discouraged. So yeah. And then also something that helped me personally is working out outside, like on my patio. I would wake up in the morning and like, I just love the morning sun. Like that is like. I love it. It makes me so happy. I would go outside, bring my mat, bring my water, my laptop, get started first thing in the morning. I would make my bed, get my stuff, go outside. Like, it just starts off the day so strong. Working out in the morning alone is a good tip I would give to you. It just sets the tone for your day. And then also, something kind of weird is that if I work out really good in the morning, I'm not going to want to eat junk food later because all that hard work just went to waste. So that's a good tip that I have also. But yeah, progress pictures, your diet, working out outside, um, good workout clothes, clothes that you feel confident in. Little things like that make the biggest difference and those are my tips. And if you guys are interested in doing one of her workout challenges or just working out all together, you're gonna feel so good after. I just have a lot more energy. Like, I feel so much more confident. I love my body before, I love my body now. And you should too because we're all beautiful. 
But yeah, I think that's it for today's video. I am very proud of myself. I feel so accomplished. And Chloe Ting, if you're watching this, kind of doubt it, but thank you for doing this. You're helping out a lot of people. Um, yeah, and I also want to say thank you guys on for watching my videos and everything. I've been really grinding and I also just uploaded a new banner yesterday that I'm very passionate about. I really like the way it looks and yeah, I've just been working really hard and I feel like it's kind of slowly but surely starting to show. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.